right, the time has rolled around yet again for this week's restaurant report card. So hold on to your seats. Our Andrea Isom has some nasty, naughty and nice places in her tour of Brighton. You know, I always try to look on the bright side and that couldn't be more fitting when you're in the city of Brighton, right? But I can only call it as a health inspector sees it. Hello, Brighton. Boy, are you a beauty. And if you've never been on Main Street, man, you are missing out. But even the spots off the beaten path in Brighton are the bomb. Welcome to Bar None, where the outdoor decor is adorbs and the inside just the same. Meet Justin. This place is so stinking cute. And the menu is massive. Fish, steaks, salads, you name it. Okay, now we gotta go to the other part. Uh-oh. The last health inspection. Yes. Had some violations. Yes. That were not corrected yet. Like faulty food cooling methods, beverage nozzles with syrup residue and mold, hand sinks filled with dishes and pans and raw chicken. Hopefully, all of this bad stuff has been made good because the health inspector... He's coming back, yep. and he's going to be able to say, check! 100%. Good for you guys. Lou and Carl's, I've driven by this spot dozens of times. Now it's time to walk on inside. Hi! Wow, this is one cool crew. Second to none. Yep, yeah, a lot of personality. Lou and Carl's is all about... The people, good town, yeah. good food. Everything that we do here is in-house at Scratch. I betcha. And I bet they care about the last health inspection, too. They have some temperature issues to tackle. Food residue on the mixer, bar nozzles and drain cups with mold or syrup residue. And the sanitizer test kit? Well, it wasn't working. Did you guys get those fixed? Yeah. The restaurant business is not for yeah, um, the faint of heart. People make it worthwhile. And so do the dogs. Lou and Carl is named after the original owner's two dogs. We love dogs! The fine peeps of Brighton file in, bringing a pic of their pooch, and they are placed on the walls for keeps. <coughs> and right across the street, conveniently located, is Thai Express. You guys got an A on the restaurant report card. Yes, way! Oh my goodness. You're doing good. I'm doing awesome. Clean, clean, clean. <laughs> what does the dish people come for the most? Pad Thai. So they gave me a try, and our newest and youngest reporter, Allison, was right by my side. What do you think, Andrea? Well, Allison, I think this is so good. It might be the best Pad Thai I've ever had. Ever. Well, that's ever. good to hear. In Brighton, I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News.